Uh, I'm here today to talk about uh, mainly the Applied Energy Management Program. I'm the program coordinator and faculty for that program. Uh, in terms of some key highlights of what I'll be talking about today, uh, my next slide just kind of goes through talking about the program timing, uh, some of the courses, uh, some of the instructors' backgrounds that you can be exposed to, some opportunities, uh, new developments within the program, uh, as well talking about kind of student expectations and, and what we're looking for from students coming to the program to kind of give you an idea from that standpoint as well. Program timing. Uh, so this is a four semester, two year program. I put two year in quotations because it's uh, four consecutive semesters. So students complete this program in a 16 month duration. Upon completion of this program, students will obtain an Ontario College Graduate Certificate. So this is focused as a postgraduate program. Uh, we have continuous enrollment in this program. Uh, so there's three intakes per year. So lots of flexibility in terms of when students come into this program and when they finish up their uh, 16 month duration for the program itself. Uh, some of the courses uh, that they can be exposed to. So I won't go to every course in detail, uh, but just to give an idea for level one, level two, you can see level one, bit of an intro, uh, kind of getting a baseline for the chemistry, thermodynamics, uh, setting up some of the applied math uh, pieces to it, an introduction to kind of the health and safety piece, kind of laying the baseline, kind of evening out uh, different backgrounds. We'll have students from electrical backgrounds, uh, chemical engineering backgrounds, mechanical, so lots of different varieties. So level one's a bit of a baseline and a bit of an introduction to a lot of the different pieces. Level two, you can see it gets a little bit more specific, talking about some refrigeration and, uh, and air conditioning, uh, high pressure boiler, some of the applied science piece, uh, our first course talking about photovoltaic grid design. So starting to get exposure to some more specific uh, energy technologies, how they apply in industry, how we can analyze them from an energy standpoint, getting a little bit more specific into different areas and how we're going to apply uh, different uh, technologies to them. Uh, now, my next slide kind of moving into level three and four. Again, more specific technologies, talking about cogeneration, uh, getting to the energy efficiency where you're generating power, harnessing some of that waste energy and how we can utilize that waste energy, uh, waste energy and biomass, more photovoltaic. Uh, we also start to get into some of the project management, right? Being able to effectively manage the uh, some of the projects that we'll be working on once you move into industry. Uh, and again, the health and safety being a huge piece within North America, making sure you're uh, familiar with the, the rules and laws and some of the health and safety practices that we have uh, within North America from that standpoint. Level four, uh, getting a bit more to the career management side, uh, getting you prepared as you finish up your level four, looking to move into industry, uh, talking about team dynamics, uh, again, more health and safety, those kind of important pieces, making sure you're ready for the field and kind of the uh, climax of the program, working on the capstone for the entire semester, uh, working in groups and really putting together a substantial project um, with lots of information, lots of detail, uh, a culmination of all your skills, uh, both that you have from uh, prior to coming to Conestoga and some of the fine tuning that you've had uh, once you've kind of come on campus and, and taken this program. Uh, just some pictures of some of the labs and equipment that you may be able to see while you're on campus. Uh, so we have a live boiler plant that we share uh, from the power engineering uh, techniques program. So a live boiler that creates steam. Uh, we get to open it up, look inside, take a look at the maintenance pieces, take a look at some of the energy functions of it, how we get the heat transfer, right? That practical application. We have our classroom theory where you're hearing about all these pieces, uh, but then we have the hands-on application where you get to see how these pieces work and actually have live equipment, which I think is a really exciting piece uh, to the program and really across the school from that standpoint. Uh, that left picture there, you can see uh, talking about pumps, motors, turbines, getting some application for it. Uh, so lots of different pieces there. My next slides uh, look at some different trainers that we have uh, from refrigeration. Uh, you can see the one on the right there is talking about uh, some HVAC units, ventilation units, a small scale application where you can collect data, seeing how a larger scale ventilation unit may work for a, a heating and air conditioning kind of application. And then on the left, a, a typical kind of refrigeration small scale system with compressors, evaporators, expansion valves, all the kind of technical pieces that you're gonna hear about in class. Now you get to see them in action taking readings and looking at it, that practical application to really solidify that learning. 
a couple more uh, trainers that you'll kind of uh, get into uh, talking about uh, solar, photovoltaic, uh, wind turbine, power generation, all those pieces. Again, getting hands on, collecting data, uh, seeing how this technology works and how it kind of interacts together. So lots of exciting pieces, uh, lots of hands on activities in our labs. And that's really one of the important pieces uh, to these programs, right? Getting both the theory and the application and kind of getting a well rounded uh, understanding of the technologies uh, that you'll be dealing with. Uh, so because of the diverse um, nature of the program and all the different areas we cover, uh, you're going to be uh, having instructors with engineering backgrounds, all different kind of disciplines from electrical to mechanical, chemical. You'll have health and safety specialists. You'll have operators from operating engineers that work on boilers to refrigeration operators working in large scale uh, refrigeration storage plants, uh, PhDs, masters, chemists, MBAs, tradespeople, electricians. So you have instructors from a huge variety of background, which I think is really exciting. Um, and I always encourage my students to, you know, pick the brains of all their instructors, uh, get an idea of what their background is. Every uh, instructor you come across will have a different uh, industrial background uh, and different experience that they have. So really pick their brains and, and kind of figure out what you'll like and what you can learn from them kind of moving forward. So a really important piece to that. And I'll talk about um, expectations from students and how it kind of interacts uh, with the instructors from that standpoint as well. And then in terms of opportunities for students on my next slide, um, once they kind of finish up this program and kind of move through. Um, so obviously some of this will depend on a student's previous education uh, and their previous experience, what they may fit into. Uh, but we look to a couple different roles that they may fit into based on what our program kind of focuses on. Uh, maybe energy coordinators, managers, improvement coordinators, uh, lots of different project work, uh, lots of sustainability things coming forward, right, um, as we're looking to get a more sustainable world and energy resources and stuff that we're using, uh, and lots of standard kind of engineer technologist roles, um, so you're not getting certification from this program, uh, but there's lots of engineering and technology roles that don't necessarily involve the certification, and you may look to pursue those certifications uh, after you complete this program as well. Uh, a lot of questions come up too from students about moving into manager and supervisor roles. Uh, so with a lot of uh, jobs within North America, a lot of that will depend on your experience, right? In terms of your previous experience uh, with supervision and those kind of pieces to it. Um, this program gives you the tools to move into those roles. Maybe not initially if you don't have the experience with it, but gives you tools to maybe move into those roles long term. But again, a lot of that really depends on a student's background from an education standpoint and a background from a work experience standpoint as well. Uh, we recently had a major program review, uh, what we call an MPR at the college. Uh, those changes are going to be implemented fall 2023. Uh, I think the timing of this MPR was really good. Uh, we know from the pandemic, uh, it started to reshape uh, the world a little bit and how we look at things. Uh, you know, at one point during the pandemic, everyone, I think, thought oil was going to disappear. And all of a sudden, we've kind of come back down to reality where we realize, OK, it's not going to happen overnight. It's going to take time. Uh, so this is the perfect timing, I think, to uh, look at the program and kind of fine tune some pieces where, yeah, we're definitely seeing some new changes in the industry, uh, but not the drastic ones that people were, you know, thinking were going to end up happening. So it's a really great timing for our, our program review. And as part of that, uh, we've been able to fine tune and make some changes to it uh, really relevant to industry and kind of coming trends for that and really be, uh, help prepare students uh, as they move into the, the work field. So we broaden the scope of some of the courses with different technologies exploring um, some up and coming technologies. So nuclear, not so much up and coming, but lots of uh, look uh, from the greenhouse gas emissions and that whole piece to it with nuclear uh, being the kind of the green technology, looking at small modular reactors, um, different uh, technologies from the nuclear side to it. Also looking at storage, integration, all those pieces. So we have some courses that will focus a little bit more on those pieces and the trends that are happening in industry. Also looking at altering some of the level and application of our technical courses uh, with chemistry and math. So looking a little bit more on the applied side, how are you utilizing these tools uh, from an energy management standpoint and how you can look at industry problems, utilize those tools to do the calculations that you need. Uh, as well, we're adding some additional courses uh, where some students gaps were, student gaps were noticed in terms of statistics analysis, being able to, again, hit the ground running when they get into industry to kind of apply all the tools that they've learned uh, and look at the data, which is obviously the applied energy uh, world is very uh, data driven. So being, un being able to understand how to interpret data, utilize that data and make smart decisions, a really important piece. So uh, really great timing uh, for our program with this NPR and really making some changes that I think will help uh, this program kind of continue to develop and emerge with new technologies as they go along. 
And then in terms of what expectations from students are, so kind of like my final little piece here in terms of students, uh, what we're looking for and what they can kind of expect. Uh, so we're looking for students definitely with a strong technical background, right? So this is a postgraduate program. Uh, so we're looking at students with a diploma or degree, uh, can be a variety of backgrounds from mechanical, electrical, chemical. Um, so we're definitely looking for that technical background, a good solid base. And then we're just looking to, in this program, kind of fine tune some of those skills focused on uh, the kind of applied energy area. In terms of once you're in the college, uh, once you decide to come and join us, uh, attendance and engagement uh, is always a strong piece for me. And attendance and engagement, the program it will really impact what you take out of the program. And that will really show when you graduate, how much you've absorbed, how much you've engaged, how much you've learned being there. Uh, and the more you do that, uh, the, the better you're gonna hit the ground running again when you're in industry, it's gonna show how much you've learned and how you can really contribute uh, to your first job as soon as you uh, uh, go in that door uh, with that new company. Prompt, clear communication, really important. Uh, keeping on track, especially in that level one, um, if you're going to be new to Canada, new to the college, uh, it's really important to be communicating with your instructors to make sure you're all set up and ready to go, uh, again, for your success, really important. Uh, and we really want students to be interested in expanding and applying their technical knowledge, right? Be here for the right reasons to kind of drive through. Our instructors are here because they want to uh, give you this information and make you successful going forward. Uh, so we're really looking for that from you as well, be, uh, looking to expand have that engagement and really applying your technical knowledge. And, and we're really excited uh, to kind of have students come in with that mindset and really help you for your future and your careers going forward. Mm -hmm.